Hi everyone, today, we're going to fold a very special paper airplane. This airplane not only flies away, but also knows how to fly back. Do you know how a paper airplane can return on its own? The secret lies in the folding technique. It's totally possible with a little bit of your skill. You just need a piece of paper and a little patience to create a unique paper airplane. Let's get started. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family if you find it fun and helpful. This is our paper airplane model for today. To fold this paper airplane, we need to prepare an AE for paper and follow these steps. Step 1. Fold the paper in half lengthwise. Make sure to fold both sides evenly, and crease the fold with your finger as I'm doing. Step 2. Fold the left side down to the long edge of the paper to form a 45 degree diagonal line as shown. Then use your finger to smooth the fold. Do the same with the other side. We now have an isosceles triangle. Make sure the folds are symmetrical and flattened for the airplane to work properly. Step 3. Fold the top of the triangle so that it coincides with the midpoint of the base. Remember to flatten the paper. Step 4. Turn the paper over and we will fold the diagonal edge down to the vertical center line. Pause the video if you need to see it more clearly. Step 5. Do the same with the other side. We have now folded two wing parts of the airplane. Step 6. Use a ruler and mark a 0.3 cm from the base. Next, fold the top of the paper airplane down below the marked point. Step 7. Fold the right wing of the paper airplane, down below as shown in the video. Remember to use your finger to flatten the paper so that it doesn't bulge. Step 8. Do the same with the left wing of the airplane. Be careful to fold both sides symmetrically for the paper airplane to work best. Next, open the part you just folded and fold it back inside. Do the same for both sides. Step 9. Fold the bottom part of the airplane up at the dotted line on the video. Then, flatten the airplane to avoid wrinkles in the paper. Step 10. Open the part you just folded, and fold the top of the airplane down to the marked dotted line. Step 11. Mark a 0.1 cm from the top of the airplane, and fold the nose of the airplane back. Note, the more times you fold, the greater the bulge and deformation of the paper. Try to flatten it by using a ruler to smooth it out. Step 12. Fold the two wings of the airplane down so that both sides of the wings are on a straight line. You can use a ruler or a straight edge as a guide. Make sure you fold both sides of the paper airplane wings together for the best results. Step 13. At the two ends of the wing, fold a 10 mm thick section to create a path for airflow. Be careful to fold both sides of the wing symmetrically. This is very important. Now open the airplane and we're almost done. 
The last thing is to use your finger to bend the tail of the airplane at the marked position. A complete paper airplane is born. Please pay attention to fold and flatten the paper to achieve optimal results. Here are the instructions for throwing the airplane and how to play. Rule 1. Always throw the airplane at an angle of 20-30 degrees from the horizontal plane. Do not throw the airplane vertically as it will not fly back to you. Rule 2. The direction of throwing the airplane should be diagonally to the left or right. Do not throw the airplane straight ahead. Now a complete airplane is done. Please leave a comment below if you succeed. Good luck.